Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name's Tim, and this is the Tim O Show, where I bring you guys along on my journey to being self-employed. And in today's video, this will be part three in this series, um, the $5,000 job recap. So I don't know if you guys remember, but um, I almost lost the cat, so they put a little sign up, do not let the cat out. So super funny because I actually didn't let the cat out and they were really mad at me for letting the cat out, but the cat actually never got out. So anyways, here's a little quick walkthrough and I will, come on bird, and I will include like a before and after in uh, the last video of this series. And again, I want to tell you guys, if you're interested in any of the equipment that I use to do these jobs, I'll leave links in the description below. And if you click any one of those links and buy something within a 24 hour period, I will earn a small commission and I will highly appreciate that. It really helps me out, you know, take some time off of work to, to edit these videos and stuff. And if you guys are interested in being self-employed and are trying to think of different ways you can do that to work for yourself, to earn a living for yourself and your family like I do, hit the subscribe button because I, I do several different things. Now, painting is like my main source of income, but I do have about five different streams of income. Also, I offer coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So if you're interested in getting started or maybe how I got started in the painting business, um, you guys can set up a call and I can give you, you know, um, from beginning to end how I got started and how you can, you can get started as well. So here we go, we got this room all cleaned up, guys. I'm looking forward to getting the ceiling done. Typically, I would have done the ceiling before I painted the house, but with the timing and time management and everything, we decided to um, do it a little bit backwards. All right, guys, so we're back here in the master bedroom, and the house is all painted, as you can see, but we gotta paint this ceiling here, so, or, uh, I'm sorry, gosh, I'm so dumb sometimes. We gotta texture this ceiling. So we gotta texture this ceiling, and then we also have to texture this closet here. See, I know there's a light somewhere. There we go. So this closet also needs to be textured. So yeah, so that's where we're at today. Uh, we got a really late start, man. We had an issue with the tools, as I was explaining earlier. Um, I, my helper Chris, had to uh, had an appointment today and it ran a little longer than he expected and we had the tools that we needed for today locked in his garage, but he had took off already, so um, I went and, go and met with my, I went and met with my buddy and tried to get some of his tools and stuff and then yeah, so, so we're here now, we're running way late and plus we can't work very late today because we have to go pick up the kiddo from school, but yeah, so we're gonna get into it right now. I'm gonna start getting the hopper set up, start mixing mud and start shooting some texture, baby. Yeah, let's get it. All right, so since I've already painted the walls, I had to put some plastic up to protect the walls because otherwise, when I'm shooting the texture, if I get the texture on the walls, I'm gonna have to go back through and clean them off and then probably end up repainting. So I wanna protect the walls from getting any overspray on them. Uh, Chris showed up, so he's gonna here to help. He's gonna wrap the floor off with plastic to try to keep the uh, mess to a minimum. And yeah, so we'll get the plastic up and then we'll start uh, getting ready to shoot some texture. All right, so we got all the uh, plastic up on the walls now. We're just gonna go around the perimeter with some more blue to make it nice and tight. And then we're gonna start shooting some texture. So it's time to get the pump set up. Let's go. So I don't do a lot of texturing, but when I do do texturing, I like to use topping mud and I make it real thin. <laughs> See, a little too thin on this day here. But I made a big old mess. <laughs> it just spilled right out. So be careful. Uh, I had to obviously clean it all up. I wanted to try to save as much as I can because, you know, materials are expensive. So if you look at the top now, you can see that I put the blue uh, two inch tape all the way around just to make a nice tight seal uh, between the ceiling and the wall there. So I got a little putty knife and I scooped up everything that I spilled, which is great that I actually had Chris put some plastic down because I was considering putting a drop down. But so I scooped up as much as I could to save it. And like I said, I don't do a lot of texturing. Um, this is like a medium knockdown type of texture. So I, I mix my, my topping mud kind of thin. Now they have stuff like, it's called ready Tex. It's already ready to be put into the hopper and, and shoot. So if this is your first time being introduced to something like this, so the hopper is the red thing I'm holding and the hose coming off of it is hooked up to an air compressor. And what it does is it gravity feeds the texture down into the, the gun essentially. And then the, the air will, will push past it and kind of shoot the texture on to the ceiling. Now, all we're going to be able to do today is get the, the, the whole thing textured. See, I can show you here. It's, it's kind of hard to really for you to see the actual texture of it, but I got it all textured here. Um, sometimes I'll seal 
the sheetrock before I shoot the texture. But this project, it, it didn't need to be done. So we just shot the texture on there. Now we're going to take off for the day. We're going to come back. And then when we come back, you'll see um, we got to sand it all down because, you know, you want the texture, but you want it to look even. And there's a lot of clumps. What ends up happening is you get some clumps and the the mixer blade that I used actually had some paint on it and it came through in the mud. So, so we're headed home. I thought this was a beautiful day and I wanted to kind of share some of it with you guys. Now, the place that I'm working is out in Tracy, which is a couple towns over from where I live. It's about a 20, 20 minute drive. I could probably make it a shorter drive, but I like to take back roads, like country roads through orchards and stuff. So, all right. So we'll see you guys on tomorrow. All right. So we're all back. The plastic that I put up yesterday had actually all came down, so I had to redo the plastic. Um, the texture was real heavy and real wet, so we redid the plastic. Now we got fresh plastic up, and what we got to do before we paint this, well, before we prime it, because you got to prime it first because it is a raw material. Something you guys want to remember is anytime that you paint something that's a raw material, whether it's raw wood, raw mud, spackle, anything, it's always a good idea to, to prime it first. So we got it all textured, kind of trying to show you guys with the better lighting now, but it's it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks good. So we're gonna get uh, the sanding sanding pole out, and I, I buy these pads as a, a 120 grit sandpaper, and you don't really wanna put a whole lot of pressure. You're just lightly knocking it down so everything looks a little more uniform. Because when you're shooting that texture on, it's just sloppy. I mean, you're literally just flinging mud up at the ceiling, so it's not gonna have any kind of a specific pattern. So when you do that, like I said, there's clumps and there's like heavy chunks. So you kind of want to go around, lightly sand everything down prior to priming it. And even though I didn't back roll all the walls in this house, we're definitely going to back roll the ceiling because, again, it's raw material. You can see all the dust all over the lens. Sorry, guys. I cleaned it up for you there. So, yeah. Now we're running into, uh, we got the pump set up. We got our mask on, our protective equipment in place. And we're going to shoot on some primer. Um, I didn't have a helper this day, so I was doing everything myself, uh, shooting the shooting the paint on and back rolling myself. So I like to, usually what I'll do, you guys will see me on the bigger ceilings, I'll do half and half. Uh, like I'll go halfway across and then I'll go and do a new section. But uh, today it was easier for me to go all the way across because the room wasn't wasn't really that big. So it was easy to just do a whole a whole section from left to right, fill it in, and then back roll. And you know, the paint doesn't dry right away, so you got time. And I always back roll because it mushes it in and it makes it a real even, real nice finish. And you want to have a good substrate for when you're going to put your top coat on. So here we're putting the top coat on. Now there's not a real satisfying change, obviously, because when I put that primer on, it, it came on like a gray color, but it dries to like a white. And now we're just putting white back on top. So I won't waste your guys' time showing you white on white. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this far. And I'm sorry for the... Uh, space in between posts um i've been in la for the last three or four days um i'm still going to be down here for a couple more days so i wanted to release this video for you guys that um you know patiently await the next upload but um i just want to explain my absence for the last few days i've been real busy trying to get caught up i'm helping a friend i'm actually down here it's like a a work slash pleasure trip um we're actually going to disneyland by night but then we kind of got to work by day so if you made it this far put um Disneyland in the comment section for me and this will be I think a four part series so the next episode will be up next week and it'll be me painting the outside of the house I think I can be able to cram all the footage into one video without making it too um, terribly long for you guys so yeah guys I really appreciate you guys sticking around make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this and you want to see how much further we could take this uh, self-employed journey and um, hit, the, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to put something in the comments for me alright I'll see you guys in the next video Peace.